Oh hey, it's David Heatley here from Cycling Inform and I just wanted to show you how you can load your workouts onto Swift when you're running on an iOS device and unfortunately it's quite difficult to get your um, training files loaded up into uh, your iOS device uh, from Training Peaks or from an online training center. Uh, normally you just uh, double click on the session and then download it uh, and uh, once you've downloaded and exported that file then you can load it straight into Swift but for iOS devices that's uh, uh, near impossible in fact I don't think there's actually a way to do it so the best way to do it is to connect your Training Peaks account with Swift it's very easy to do and that way uh, you're able to get access to the workout so the first thing you want to do is log into your Swift account and go to the settings and you'll see the connections tab here and in the connections tab you can connect Swift to Training Peaks. So I've got it connected at the moment. And if you do have it connected and you're still having issues with this, and I'll show you uh, that a little bit later on, then it's important to disconnect your account with Training Peaks and then reconnect it again. Uh, so just make sure that that's connected. And then when you go into Swift itself, so I'll just uh, switch to Swift, and you go to Training, you'll find that the workout for the day will be available in the Training Peaks custom workout. So up oh, having a bit of a moment here with my mouse so we'll just click on this and you can see 0 uh, 99 fruit bowl with strength endurance and aerobic efforts is loaded up into Swift and I can just click on that and load that session so now it's important for this to appear here that the workout it is actually available on training peaks for that day so you can see that 099 is available for the day to the day is the fourth and this I've actually done this session this morning but that's important to have that session loaded up now if you're say you're on the fifth and you've got a you want to do a session maybe you want to do this session again then it's important to just uh, copy that session across and just paste it there so that it appears on the day that you're doing the training so that's very important to make sure that that's happening but then uh, it's uh, really easy so you just run it up in Swift load that workout uh, we're going to load that workout uh, and then uh, you'll see it's loaded up here and then just click the ride button and you'll see that the workout will be loaded straight up to Zwift against your FTP figures. Uh, if you find the sessions running a little bit too hot and you need to drop the power back a little bit then you can just use the plus and minuses here. If you find the session a little bit easier then you can just ramp it up a little bit. So, so that's how you do it, getting Swift sessions on your mobile iOS device. Catch you soon, bye.